Hello, I am here to update everybody, do a second review of the Aquaterra Fairfax hot tub from Costco. We got all of your questions on our first video and I wanted to try to answer some of those. Here we go. One of the questions people had was about the components of the hot tub. So I wanted to show you with this panel open, everything is right here. On our other hot tubs that we've had, things have kind of been spread out more. I think because the frame is a lot smaller on this one, that most everything seems to be right here on this side. So it is pretty condensed. The good thing is because of that, I feel like we can reach almost all the connections. So like you can see almost all of the main connections here and where our previous hot tubs, we had to reach back underneath and try to find where leaks were and stuff. It looks like everything is pretty much in this one place. So we haven't had to fix anything yet, but it might make it easier. I don't know. I also wanted to talk about insulation. Right here, obviously there isn't any, but I do see some down underneath and on the other sides, you can see the white insulation. So I do think that it has a good amount of insulation around it, just not right here. Um, it doesn't look like the spray foam insulation. It looks like it's more of the cloth insulation that was packed in there. Even though the hot tub is branded Aquaterra from Costco, it is a version of a Watkins hot tub. So you can see right here, the pumps are Watkins brand, the 6,500 jet pump, Watkins Wave Master. And that's, this is the, oh, that's the 6,000 jet pump. So it's two different jet pumps. And then that looks like the power. And then here is where the heating element would be. Another thing is the ozone generator. There's the brand right there of that. Another question that somebody asked was about the wood at the base or what the base was. The base is wood. It is painted, so hopefully it's treated correctly. But it is um, wood down here. And the side of the hot tub is this like plasticky material with some foam on the inside to also help insulate it. Um, but it's not wood, it is plastic composite stuff. And then the bottom is the wood. And that is where our screws were not put in correctly. Still trying to get that figured out. But there you go. Hopefully that helps. I'm trying to give a few detailed shots of the inside here. I'm not a hot tub expert by any means. So when I say that the hot tub frame is pretty small, you can see that the seat comes basically right up to the edge. There's not a lot of extra room up on the top and there's no official cup holders, but there are a few places that you can put cups. So it's still, does the job it's just not an official cup holder so the last question i got was about the jets you can see there's different kind of jets there's these that are not adjustable at all and then there's some smaller ones that you can adjust on and off and then there's a couple big ones or just is that the only big one that's the only big one yeah. but every seat does have jets even the little seat right there where you step in all seven seats have jets. And the jets down below are great for your feet when you stick your feet across. It hits your legs or your feet. So there are a lot of jets, but it doesn't seem like a crazy amount. And they are actually really strong. There's a few different settings that you can turn the jets on and off. You can adjust them using the knobs on the top. Another right thing there. added are the, the headrests are amazing. Oh, yeah. They are very comfortable. They have like a like, space between behind them yeah so that i've owned a sundance and a elite spa and these were the most comfortable headrests i've ever had here's a video we're going to kind of adjust the jets around so that you can see it's pretty easy yeah. come on buddy come on buddy so that one's going pretty strong so I was just showing, I don't know if you can even see it, but they're off right now down here. 
But then I turn it on. You can see right here. But if I turn it off. And then you adjust them like. So that one's going crazy now. So you just basically have to play around. So here's the waterfall on. When you turn the jet, like, less, it goes down, goes back up. And then you turn it on and off just by sliding, switching that. Okay. Here's a hint for putting the side back on. When you lift it up, lift it up to match up that top middle screw. Start with that one and then work out from there. If you can get that top middle screw in, then the others should all line up, hopefully. We're able to get all of them in except for the bottom one that they messed up on. And here is a video with just the filter jet running. So you can hear how loud it is. And maybe you can hear the kids at the park next door. But you can see it's really not too loud. I don't think our neighbors would ever be bothered by it or anything. We can't hear it inside the house.